Shepherds hay, clover too, rye grass seeds and turnips too. I can whistle, I can play, I can dance the shepherds hay. Way of the Morris is uh, it's a very personal documentary. Um, it's a film uh, about Morris dancing. Um, it's about what Morris dancing means to uh, the people of my village um, and uh, my bloodline. Uh, and then it's about how all of those things connect to the horrors of the First World War. Left, left. You're probably not meant to say it out loud what you're doing. <laughs> I'm sure I did. Right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Is that it? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm eligible. I, I, you are, <laughs> absolutely. In fact, he's the only person that has a lineage, I think, here. I can't think anybody else whose father danced. So you're the only person that has a direct descendant of an Anderbury village Morris dancer. So that's a challenge to you, Tim, I think. It's only your first day out here as well. <laughs> Basically, I found out the story of this team of dancers from my village that went to the First World War and they were all killed, uh, apart from one of them. Only one of them came back from the, from the trenches. Um, and that really touched something inside of me. I think it reawakened something in, inside of me um, that I felt I'd, I'd ignored for most of my life, a kind of a calling, if you like, to my, uh, my rural heritage and my roots. I've only had uh, nice things said about the film, usually. A few people have heard of Morris Dunson, but in, in most cases, we've had to try and explain what Morris Dunson is before we even start talking about the film, yeah. But we've had some good positive uh, responses, I would say, yeah. We've had three screenings and uh, we've had, shall we say, small but beautifully formed audiences um, who seem to have been uh, really engaged by this idea of this, this odd, exotic English tradition which most of them have never heard of or have fleetingly heard of or know people from England uh, who've mentioned it to them. So there's been a curiosity aspect of people who've been coming to see the film. It was panic really when Tim got the chance to come because I hadn't got a passport, you know. I haven't been out of the country since uh, 72. So, uh, why, why not? Um, mostly business reasons really, you know, I've been coming to work. <laughs> it's strange in a way, kind of bringing the exotic English tradition to America for me, the exotic thing the other way around is obviously to go to somewhere like the Alamo, which I've read about, seen films about my entire life, uh, and to, to actually go there and, and, and see that is, that's a very exotic experience for me, and, and kind of try and feel a little bit like a cowboy as much as possible. There's been a curiosity aspect to people who've been coming to see the film, I think, and hopefully they haven't been disappointed, they've in fact been maybe even inspired to, to start the Morris up in, uh, in Austin. Now, I think rock and roll is currently winning out.